Peace. This is a meat and potato sauce reproduction starring myself, the water alchemist. And today's topic, I would like to talk about banishing. And I want to talk about this. This should serve intermediate as well as neophytes. Even though it's geared towards newbies, it'll help intermediate witches or sorcerers. Banishing. How do you do it? And I want to give some tips and some methods because usually a lot of times people cast spells and they don't know how to banish or get rid of um, a certain energy after they've done the spell or the ritual. And sometimes they can even attract imposter spirits. And I've talked about how you can know if it's an imposter spirit. One of the ways that you can test is by asking the spirit that you conjure if they have a sigil to show you the sigil. There is a hierarchy and there are rules and regulations even in the spirit world. So that's one method that you can use. And when you're talking about banishing, you can use sage. You can get some white sage and... This will be a way of not only cleansing your space, but getting rid of spirits. You also can combine Palo Santo and you can also use witch's grass to add even more power. That's a way of banishing. You also can use black salt. Black salt will not only remove a spirit, but it will also keep any type of energy out of your home. So that's very important when you are trying to do banishing because I find that a lot of people, again, do spells, don't know how to get rid of the energy, and then, you know, they just wreak havoc and chaos around them. And I'm also going to give a tip. When you do spells or rituals, sometimes a entity can be binded to a piece of jewelry or some type of book of shadows, etc., If something is given to you, unless you really know the sorcerer or the witch, do not take it. Do not accept it. You can say, thank you, but no thanks, because oftentimes that can have a malicious spirit attached to it, and you can bring it in your home, and you know the rest. So again, you can use Palo Santo, you can use witch's grass, and you can use white sage in your home. You can also use black salt. You can put it in the back doorway, the front doorway. You can put it on the window sills. Crystals are very good. As I said, an excellent crystal to get that protects against negative energy and can block lower level spirits is black tourmaline. So you can get that to use. And like I said, it's very important that when you do a spell, do a cleansing. Those are some of the ways you can do and take a sea salt bath. You can take a sea salt bath or you can add rainwater. And go see my rainwater videos. You can add like about an ounce or two of rainwater. This is good for also breaking hexes and getting rid of negative energy. So that is your meat and potatoes sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.